Hey, what's up? This is Jim from Jägermeister. We're here at Damnation 2013, and we're here with Hamish from Valenfire, which means... Strong fire in Old English. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That's a pretty metal name, isn't it? <laughs> Valenfire, Strong Fire. Well, I mean, yeah. So, you know, the old origins of the band came from uh, Gregor from Paradise Lost. Uh, you know, he tragically lost his dad and he used, uh, you know, his... his you know the the band and creating music as a, as a you know cathartic vehicle to kind of work through the grief of that. So um, so yeah. Um, so you know from that kind of quite tragic beginnings came you know what what became the band Valenfire. So he'd um, written the stuff and to get some old friends together to play and do it as like you know part tribute to his father and as I say a way of working through such a dark kind of time. And so Valenfire being the strong fire who's you know, tribute to the man himself and then also, you know, the, the strength and power to get through such the darkest of times that way. That must be quite a weight uh, as a member of that band to, to have to sort of... Uh, there's like this honouring thing and you... I, I'm assuming it, it doesn't leave much room for like a frivolity or like there's this uh, responsibility I guess there absolutely is uh, and uh, you know it, and for many reasons as well not only the you know, the, the personal uh, you know associations with uh, the music as it was written but also then you know being asked by Gregor from Paradise Lost to come and play you know lead guitar in this project which is then a tribute to his father as well as you say it leaves no scope for fucking around with it so we've got to do it and then and, and do it well so uh, yeah it's quite the responsibility and uh, and that's why uh, I mean not that otherwise I'd, I'd you know mess around or not uh, you know play the show well but absolutely every time it's like no I've got to do this right because um, you know not only you know playing so much of his stuff but also emulating a bit of Gregor's style as, as well and having to play solos that he played on the album as well as the you know stuff that I did myself so uh, it's a tall order it's, uh, it's it's hard work but rewarding and of course live shows are uh, pretty much a, a, a rare beast for you guys how do you get it together to actually come out and do these things it's really difficult it's really difficult because uh, you know we've got to organize it where schedules allow and so that means syncing up paradise lost my dying bride and also then at the gates and brujeria in regards to uh, you know uh, adrian and uh, it's really difficult and um, you know scoot from doom who's the bass player isn't actually with us today because uh, doom we're on tour right now and he's, he's in Spain at the moment so we've uh, got uh, a stand-in for tonight uh, it was the only way to, to, to do the show so it's, it's difficult so yeah shows are rare and um, then uh you know, it don't, but all the more special for it, which is good. So each one's a bit of a you know kind of mini event because it's a way we get to do them. I mean, since uh, you know the band's uh, inception, we've uh, only done a very small handful of shows, but yet we've played more shows than we've even had rehearsals, though. So uh, you know, the shows overtook rehearsals, but we've only done I don't know maybe six or seven shows. <laughs> How does that work? You're doing it wrong. You're supposed to be rehearsing first before doing shows. Well, I mean that that would typically be it. We did rehearse before the first show we, we managed to get the, you know, well, the first good. rehearsal in and then do uh, the first live show uh, out in Finland and then we'll just kind of get the odd one dotted in just to remind ourselves what we're doing and tying it up but um, I mean the first time all five of us were together in the room you know the same room at the same time was after we'd done the album and it was a photo shoot for the album it's that's the kind of uh, difficulty we get with trying to get everyone's schedules together yeah, it must be quite a departure from like your I suppose your, your day job mm. you know just um, when you're playing live as well is there this sort of pressure to well not outdo each other but seeing as like the the pedigree of each individual in the band to not balls it up uh, yeah no, it, most definitely so we you know I, I, me and Adrian lock in together very very well so I always feel very comfortable with that and uh but I mean, the band is such a different beast to you know the other bands we do. It's totally different to My Dying Bride, Paradise Lost, and all that. It's, it's a you know it's a filthier, more vicious beast. So uh, it feels different enough that it you know it stands on its own merits. But uh, yeah, we're, we're certainly aware that uh, you know we're on enough pressure to uh, you know we're expected to to deliver and deliver we shall. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, a... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and a uh, final question. Damnation as a festival uh, seems to get bigger and bigger each year and, and the lineups seem to get more and more extreme as a result. Um, Favourite Damnation that you've either played at or been here as a punter before? Wow, because I've come to most of them. There's there's only been a couple. Of, I, I I didn't go to the first two in Manchester, uh, but since it moved to Leeds, I've been at every single one bar uh, the the year that uh, you know Devon Townsend and Doom played. Um, so you know, I was gutted to miss uh, that year. Um, each of the years we've played have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, last year in particular was was such a great show, and uh, especially as well because. You know, perversely going into the festival, I thought, God, I hope we've got an audience there. You know, looking at the other bands on the bill, I wasn't sure quite whether you know my damn bride would have, um, you know, to you know, share the same audience as everyone else. But um, but obviously, when it turned out to be absolutely wonderful, it was like, wow. You know, I'd kind of over completely overlooked the fact that we were like one of the attractions <laughs> of why people would come. So yeah, so yeah, there were my damn bride fans there. But because I just you know. The festival being so strong, the lineups always being so strong. I, yeah, I just didn't kind of put myself in that. So that was really nice. That was really nice uh, feeling that. And um, yeah, every year's great and different for uh, you know different reasons. Uh, you know, seeing it uh, grow and expand. I mean, four stages this year. That's that's heavy duty. Really, really is. So yeah, just seeing it getting bigger, bigger and bigger has given each year its own character. So it's wonderful. So glad to be back again. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Cool. Cheers. Thanks, sir. Nice one.